Welcome, welcome one and all to the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. In the last episode, we got the Deku Leaf and flew over to the Forbidden Woods and this is where we are now, the Forbidden Woods. We actually didn't get too far because I kept messing up and slowing us down, but you know what, that's okay because we are now going to try to move through this dungeon as quickly as possible, so let's go! Actually, what stinks is that I am low on hearts. I mentioned, if you guys tuned in the last episode, I lost some hearts because of, of of stupid reasons because of stupid things but um oh maybe maybe I shouldn't say the word stupid because there are, are there are kids watching man oh oh okay so not stupid but that was silly that was plain right silly but this is it guys if I if I hit one more of these vines if I hit one one more of these thorns or an enemy I am dead that is it for link that is it for me and that will be death number two and I am going to try to avoid that as much as possible because I I believe, I thoroughly believe that I can I can make it through this dungeon without dying, you know? You you guys might think, oh no, he's not gonna be able to do that, but I think that I can, so I'll just go ahead and lay that challenge down on the table right now. No more deaths! No more deaths, at least for the entirety of this dungeon. I'd like to say for the entirety of this save file, but I don't think that's going to happen. I may be hopeful that I can survive this dungeon, but I'm not so hopeful about surviving the entire game. But I'm, okay, just trying to move here as slowly as possible. I don't remember this part being as difficult as, as it is now for some reason. I just need to focus is what I need to do. So remember that these planks can't be destroyed with your wooden sword, so what you want to do is find another way to destroy them. I don't have bombs yet, do I? No, I don't. Uh, for those of you that are new to The Legend of Zelda, one, sorry for spoiling that you're going to get bombs later, but you know, that's it's kind of a staple in Legend of Zelda, so. But anyway, what I was saying was let's go ahead and find something that we can use to break those wooden, oh! Well, that's it, that's death number two. But you know what? It's okay. I set a challenge for myself and even though I failed, it's okay. So that's death number two, future me. The one editing this, go ahead and put number two in the death counter if you're, if you're going to go ahead and do that. I don't know if I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Yeah, so I just wanted to go ahead and add that so that you guys could see, because I, I don't know. Why not, right? And we are back in this room, so I think my mistake was actually taking- yeah, I took the wrong path. I was supposed to go to the left instead of the right, because uh, if you can see past these vines or thorns, you can see the top of bomb plants, and that is actually what we are going to use to destroy those thick wooden planks, so. I believe that this is the right way. I'm just gonna go ahead and take it slowly. Slowly again, because I do not want to die again. Man, I really want to limit my deaths in this playthrough, but I have a feeling that I'm going to reach at least 10 deaths. You know, it's sad, but that's what I think anyway. There we go. And I think in here is a treasure chest, is what I thought. And I'm gonna go ahead and guess that it is the small key that I've been looking for, or that I was looking for in the last episode, and it is! Nope, it's a compass. Of course. It's probably... it's probably past those planks over there, so... It's no problem at all, except me walking across the room is going to take some time again, because I want to take it slowly, but that's okay. That is okay. A-OK! -okay. Just wanna... Please... Okay, that did it. And it looks like... I, ca I can't even see what's inside there. I'm guessing it's a treasure chest though, but... Ah, uh, this is going to take at least a minute. A minute of good episode time. Did I say that it would take a minute of my time? Well, it didn't because I decided to fast forward. Because I was thinking of you guys, you know? Because I know that you wouldn't have to suffer you wouldn't want to suffer the same thing that I'm suffering by having to watch a minute of me going through that again. No, 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 no. That's not what I want for you guys. What I want is to create an enjoyable experience that my episodes, that each and every episode would be so entertaining that you would leave, you know, leave the video saying, wow, what in the world did I just watch? Oh, choose! Okay, I actually didn't expect that, but... I need to be more careful. <laughs> if if my two deaths haven't been warning enough that I need to be careful. But, oh, 
Okay. These trues are making me more nervous than they should. Ouch! And that is why. Because of things like that. I'm no expert at The Legend of Zelda, although I'm not your average Zelda player either, if I do say, do say so myself. <laughs> there we go. And... Let's, I'm just gonna go ahead and collect these green chew jellies is what they're called, right? I'm gonna go ahead and say that that's what they're called because I don't want to embarrass myself After having embarrassed myself enough from that death, but You know, you just gotta move forward. You gotta stop looking at the past man is what you gotta do. Stop looking at the past What's in here? Okay, I think the dungeon is you know the layout is starting to come back to mind, although I really haven't forgotten it too much, and there goes half a heart. Oh, and there's a mini boss coming up ahead. So yeah, see I do I do remember the layout of this dungeon pretty decently. I just don't remember the exact location of the small keys. And I really want to get rid of all of these Deku plants because they are they are annoying me severely right now. If one can be annoyed severely. I don't know if that's the right right um Adverb, excuse me, but these pea hats are annoying. That is the right word. That's the right adjective annoying because they're just annoying is what they are Goodness pea hats pea hats these days. I don't I don't understand uh, But let's make our way to the third story I believe is where we will find the entrance to the mini boss room Here we are. Is this the mini boss room? I know it's the room where you get the special item that I won't spoil for you guys. Um, oh wait, no. I don't think that's it either. Oh man, maybe memory doesn't serve me as well as I thought it did. Or does, rather. But look at that! Have you ever seen anything like that? It's, it's incredible, really. I don't remember if... Okay, so you can use your Deku Leaf to kind of, I guess, stun this enemy or whatever. But it doesn't really- oh, no, okay, so I, I can reach him, so maybe that'll be my- oh, okay! Okay, I really didn't see that coming, wow. That was totally unexpected. Uh, of course the mini-boss would attack, but he attacks so swiftly, oh my goodness. Death number three in this Let's Play. Alright. Wow. What an episode. Or, or two episodes, depending on how I decide to split this. Uh, and this guy is going to eat me again. I do not want that. That was nasty. I do not want to find myself in that guy's mouth. But he's gone now, so don't worry, kids. That terrifying monster is no more. It's a good thing those little guys don't do damage. So that was the attack that killed me last. So actually, what you could do is wait. Give me a second. Let me just go ahead and slay this little, little guy. Almost done, and one more hit should do it. There. What I was saying was that, was that, uh, I don't remember. Okay, um, that move that the little moth, the big moth guy actually used to kill, uh, used to kill me last time. You can actually, I guess, counter it. You know how when an enemy is about to strike and then your action button glows. Uh, yeah, that that same thing happens, and you can actually counter attack. So. But I didn't, I didn't get to show you guys because I was just being, you know, so lame and killing him in such a normal way. But nonetheless, we have the boomerang. This will prove to be very useful. Very, very useful in this dungeon. Target specific objects by holding the button you set it to and aiming at something until the red target cursor changes to a that. That icon. You can target up to five objects at once. So... Let me go ahead and show you how it will be useful in this dungeon. So if I can go ahead and find it there. So you see that there are switches, but not just one switch. There are two switches. And the thing is you need to hit them s close to being at the same time or, you know, at, at the same time basically. So I don't need the telescope right now. So so you can target like this and the boomerang will hit both of your targets, so it's nice, it's nice. And there is another way that you can use it in this dungeon.